Hello and welcome to Physical Education and Yoga, Lesson 2, Part 2 of the Ethics and Sports. Hello learners, welcome to NIOS. As you know, we have already covered the first part of this lesson number 2. Now we will take up part 2 of the same lesson. In the first part, we have discussed about the ethics and values in sports and its components, objectives and about sportsmanship. Today, we will try to know about the Olympic values and adapt social and personal ethics through yoga. Dear learners, to start with Olympic values, we need to know what are the three core values of Olympics which focuses at the Olympic Games and Youth Olympic Games. They are excellence, respect and friendship. The five educational themes of Olympism are joy of effort, fair play, respect for others, pursue excellence and balance in life between body, will and mind. These are based on fundamental principles of Olympism incorporated through physical, intellectual, social, emotional approach of learning. The Olympic value means friendship, respect and excellence. I am sure you must have now by hearted these three words of respect, friendship and excellence. We should now take forward what friendship, respect and excellence means. Friendship encourages us to see sport as an instrument for mutual understanding between individuals and between people all over the world. Respect includes respect for oneself, one's own body and for other people. Respecting rules and regulation of the games. Respecting the sport we play. Respecting our own environment. These are the virtues learned through Olympic values. The other one, excellence. The important thing is not winning but taking part, making progress and enjoying the healthy combination of body, will and mind. Excellence means doing the best on the playground or in our professional life. Dear learners, let us in detail discuss on the educational themes of Olympism. The first theme, joy of effort. Let me narrate you a two story of an athlete, a two story of joy of running was published in International Olympic Committee's newsletter. There was a boy from Kenya living in a small village. His school was four mile away from his house and there was no public transport available. At the age of five, this boy used to cover the distance from school to house and vice versa through walking or running. He enjoyed running. He used to come home for lunch and go back to school for remaining classes. Simultaneously, he developed incredible aerobic system and soon he competed in national sports and became an international player. He got his job in Kenya police as fitness trainer and became example to cadets. This story tells us that in younger age, an individual has lots of energy. As they become older, level of energy decreases. Sports or physical activities should be adopted on appropriate age, ability and skill of an individual to achieve relative outcome. We come to the next virtue, fair play. Learners, you may know that there are many ways from which concept of fair play can be reflected like shaking hands at the end of the game, appreciating opponent's extraordinary performance, etc. After playing sports, an individual develops behavior of fair play that reinforce in the community and in life. And lastly, after fair play comes respect for others. In sports, one team may consist of people belonging to different cultures, 
focuses on one goal that is to win for the team. With this, they learn to develop behavior to accept and respect diversity. Pursuit of excellence. Dear learners, today's world is so competitive and demanding, every individual tries to become the best. Sports provide opportunity to become best or to make healthy choices in social and physical surroundings. Sports sharpen the skills to become best for the children of all ages, girls and boys, children with learning disabilities and children with hearing, vision or other physical disabilities. Sports give an environment free from discrimination, harassment and fear. Balance between body, will and mind. This concept focuses on learning to happen in the whole body and not just in the mind. Physical learning takes place both in body and mind, but it cannot happen without will. Sport is a medium of balancing body, will and mind. Try to raise your hand. If you cannot, that means your mind has not ordered the muscles to raise the hand. So that's the biggest connection you can see between the body and the mind. There are four different ways of incorporating Olympic values in children and athletes. First and foremost is to help individual to develop work ethics through hard work. And you know, the reward for hard work is more work. After hard work comes excellence. For achieving excellence, one should aim to do the personal best, no matter what circumstances or competitors they may be facing at the time. Teach them friendship. Olympic athletes gather from around the world to compete and in the process, they form friendship with each other. They watch each other's work, encourage each other and sometimes make sacrifices to support each other. Teach them respect. Dear learners, respect is the most important aspect of Olympism. A real example to this is choosing players from the US men's hockey team. Team's general manager, David Poley, made some controversial decisions and left out some of the best American hockey players. But Poley said that rather than choosing an all-star team, he was trying to choose a team of players whose specialists complemented each other so they could work together with respect and maximize their chances of winning a gold medal. Adapt social and personal ethics through yoga. Our last topic to cover in this part 2 of our lesson is to adapt social and personal ethics through yoga. Dear learners, it is through practicing yoga one can find an ease in living ethically in this world. Through the practice of yoga, we can achieve the highest potential of ourself, which gives us the ability to transcend human condition of pleasure and pain. Yoga is about purifying ourselves, which includes body, mind, spirit, speech, actions and our thoughts. Yoga is nothing but cultivating ethics because ethics is the foundation of a set of models and values that form the character of each person through action into their way of being. Learners, I hope you liked watching this video. Thanks for watching the video. Namaskar.